My name is Isil Khan and in this video we'll just learn the break work analysis. And in this analysis we'll do calculation per number of breaks, we'll do of course calculation per volume of mortar and then from the volume of mortar we'll calculate cement and sand of course. Let's just suppose if we have a break wall like this one. The length of the break wall is 3 o feet, its height is 15 feet and let's suppose the thickness of the wall is just 9 inches, right? And let's suppose we are asked to determine number of breaks, cement and sand, from the given break wall if the break size is this one. This is of course in inches, right? 9 times 4.5 times 3 inches. And let's suppose the mortar is just 25% of the wall, right? Is the data is just enough to determine the number of breaks, cement and sand, of course, so I'll come directly into solution, right? In the solution, my first approach will be just to calculate the total break wall. And this will be just, of course, the volume of the wall, right? And the volume is always the length times breadth times height, or you can say length, height, and thickness multiplication, right? So let's do plug and chug in. Like the total break work equals, the length is known, that's of course 3 o feet. So 3 o times height, that's 15 feet. And times thickness, that's of course 9 inches, or you can say 0 0.75 feet, right? So we can get of course the total break work is 337.5 CFT. But this is just the total break work. We have to detect the volume of mortar, right? So let's do detection for the volume of mortar. And let's calculate the volume of mortar, right? Remember the volume of mortar can be just, let, just look at two, uh, the example terms. That's 25%, right? So the volume of mortar equals 25%. And of course, just to remove the percent sign, we divide this by 1 or 0, right? Now, if it's 25% in 100, then how much it would be in total break work, which is 337.5 CFT, right? So do multiplication with this guy, right? We'll get, of course, the volume of mortar equals 84.375 CFT, and that's it. Now, if we subtract the volume of mortar from the total break work, we can get, of course, the net break work, right? which is just like this one. The total break work, that's known, just this one, minus the volume of mortar, we did this guy a few seconds ago, this one, right? So we can get, of course, the net break work equals 253.125 CFT. And once we have the net break work, then of course we can calculate number of breaks, which is this one, the net break work divided by volume of one break. That's it. And that's, of course, just the same thing that we have done already for uh, the block work analysis, right? Uh, and that was just, of course, the number of block equals the net block work divided by volume of one block. If you have not watched that video yet, the link is down below in the description, right? Alright, so the number of break equals the net break work, that's already known, right? Divided by the volume of one break. The size of break is known, so its volume must be 9 times 4.5 times 3 inches, right? But this is in inches, we have to convert these guys into feet, right? Like 9 inches is just 0 0.75 feet, 4.5 inches is just 0 0.375 feet, and 3 inches is just 0.25 feet. We can get, of course, the number of breaks equals 3600 numbers. So this is how we determine the number of breaks, right? But remember, there must be some kind of wash stage. Like, let's just assume we have 10% break wash stage, right? This may be 8, 9%, 6%, no problem, right? And what's the example of this? Remember, breaks can be just broken, right? So that's also wash stage. And some breaks can be waste uh, to fix or to do the job well, right? And of course, local people can also steal the breaks. <laughs> That's just uh, maybe possible only in these countries, right? Asian countries. But no problem, the wash stage must be just added to the total number of breaks, right? And uh, let's suppose if it's 10% in 100, then how much it should be in total number of breaks, which is 3600 numbers, right? That's of course 360 numbers. So now the total break number must be just the summation of these two guys, right? That's of course 
3960 breaks. So the total breaks are just 3960 breaks, right? Now the next step is to calculate cement and sand. And remember a few minutes ago we have already calculated the volume of matter, right? That was just 84.375 CFT, right? So from this volume we can get of course the cement and sand so easily. If you know about the ratio and summation of ratio, just look at the ratio, that's 1, 3. So its summation must be 4, right? When we have the summation of ratio in the volume of matter, then of course we can calculate the cement, right? It must be the ratio of cement, which is 1 times the volume of matter, that's known. But the volume of matter is in the form of wet, right? We have to convert this guy into dry volume. And to convert this, we'll have to do multiplication with 1.27, right? And that's of course just 27%. And this must be just a little different from 27, no problem, right? This may be 25, 26, 24, no problem. I have seen in different books 25, right? But uh, we're here in Pakistan, a lot of books uh, uh, have this video, just 27%, right? So I'll include this guy, right? No problem. And why we do this multiplication? Remember, the wet volume is always less than the dry volume, right? And remember, the dimensions are already in a wet palm. So that's why we have to convert these guys into dry, right? And that's why we do multiplication with this, right? So this is one times the volume of matter times 1.27, right? And divided by sum up ratio. Sum up ratio is just 4, right? We'll get the cement equals 26.789 CFT. And to convert this CFT video into bags, we have to divide this by the volume of one bag. That's over here in Pakistan 1.25 CFT, right? I mean, the volume of one cement bag is 1.25 CFT over here in Pakistan. You can use your country's bag volume, no problem, right? We'll get, of course, 21.43 bags just for the same wall, right? And now let's go ahead to calculate the sand. And remember, the sand ratio is 3. This means the sand should be 3 times of cement, right? And the cement is known, right? That's 26.789. So do multiplication with 3 because 3 is just the sand's ratio, right? We'll get, of course, the sand equals 80.367 CFT. So for the given wall, we have number of bricks equals 3960 numbers. The cement is 21.5 bags and the sand is 80.367 CFT, right? So that's it. This is how we analyze the brick work, right? Hey, at the end, if you like the video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you, dears, for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.